Nova Alea? 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 For its dwellers, Nova Alea was a mixture of shelters, connections, memories, longings. For its masters, the city was a matrix of financial abstractions. Assets appreciating and depreciating according to invisible patterns. Whoa. Buy properties when they are cheap. They acquired properties while their value was still unrealized, trying to anticipate the swarm. As the buildings grew, so did their fortunes, so long as they sold before the bubble burst. I get it. I don't understand. I'm supposed to invest in these buildings and then sell them before the bubble bursts. I understand that much, but like, um... But I don't know how you can tell when you're buying and selling them. Mm -mm. Oh, damn it. Oh. Impossible prices drove old residents away and drained the ones who couldn't leave. Neighborhoods that made Nova Alea unique were replaced with dull repositories of wealth. But in the craters left by the cyclical crisis, the weird folk settled. The weird folk. The weird folk brought an organic life to the shiny metal city, stimulating dormant desires. The hipsters? The masters began to nurture the weird folk to attract the animal spirits of the market. What? I mean hipsters. Eventually, the weird folk had to move too, displaced by the revitalization they themselves started. It's supposed to be, I guess, about, uh, you know, the housing market. Gentrification? And stuff, I guess. Kind of. Above, some masters could recognize the vectors of desire. They acquired neglected lands just before they were engulfed by the bubble. One day, all the people forced to change their lives at the speed of finance began to organize. At first, they raised their voices together. But the masters heard only noise. The masters traded properties feverishly, so the people of Nova Alea forced them to slow down. Hmm. had to wait before selling their assets. Buying to own and not to sell immediately made the masters anxious. <clears throat> this is kind of interesting. Yeah. I don't, it's, it's interesting, like, I don't really know what, what much there is to say about it. Oh, this is making it difficult. Goddamn liberals! Goddamn liberals! <laughs>
The weird folk are helping us, Stacy. The weird the folk. The weird folk. The weird liberals. Goddamn liberals. Their power and used it to curb the swelling prices of their homes. Price-controlled properties offered lower profit margins, spoiling the master's games. You know what this kind of reminds me of? There's an SNL sketch where it shows these parents that are at like a... I don't know what you call it. Like, not an improv show. Like, performance art. Mm-hmm. And they're acting out like... Um... You know, have you ever seen something where it's like they're acting out like something that matters, but they're doing it in a really cringy way? Yeah, you're like, ugh. You're like, I am misogyny. (laughs) And you're like, okay, I understand what you're trying to say, but... You're being a weirdo. You're being, like, really, really dramatic about it, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. It's a great sketch. I would recommend checking it out for anybody who's interested in seeing what exactly that looks like. I don't know what's going on anymore. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. What's going on? So, now what? Tell me what happens next, mysterious lady. Mysterious voice. But I mean, apparently, but we're the bad guy. Oh yeah, definitely, for sure. Something like that, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm evil. Thanks. Oh, everything's turning black. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're evil or something. I think I think we get the idea. Something something liberals law. Bye. <laughs>